Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for today few months before i had created my last video for both the official build by dani rimbles and an official build by the veritas for evolution x retrofit custom roms evolution x is one of the best and highly customizable rom prepared by the users after lineage os and paranoid android currently only retrofit versions of the evolution x was available and as i last time went into the issue on my device i didn't tested any new builds of evolution x but veritas has released the new update on 2nd of may which has some amazing changes so i decided to give a try for this unofficial version of evolution x which has lots of new changes along with the system stability improvement if you want to first time flash the retrofit builds then please refer the fourth the videos given under the video description If you are already on the Retrofit Evolution X then just download the update and sideload it via stock recovery. I already did the clean flash so today we will see what new changes has been done by developers along with the performance and stability check of the ROM. At the end I told what are Retrofit ROMs, their benefits and are they really better than non-Retrofit ROMs or not. So watch the video till the end. Now with the further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So phone booted and I did the complete setup of the device. This build also didn't have the Pixel launcher. It comes with the Evolution X launcher. Now let's jump to the about phone to check the details of new ROM. Under the about phone, if you check the Android version section, it's showing this is the same Android 13 base ROM with the same Mater U clock register. Evolution X version is 7.9 kare kare. Evolution X ROM has this their own custom Easter egg which looks cool. Security patch is updated to the latest May 2023. Another big change is update in the kernel. ROM now comes with the new Evolution X kernel version 4.9.337. It's built up with the Google's Clang 2 chain 14.0.6. Build date of ROM is 2nd May 2023. Build maintainer is Veritas. So new ROM has updated with all the latest sources like the new kernel, latest security patches, etc. As per the changes developer has done some stability and performance improvement to test the stability and performance I did the UI bench jitter test I think I am doing this test for the Evolution X first time you get the jitter test option under the OnePlus extra setting of the phone you also get it under the miscellaneous setting of the Yolver tab if you open this you get the jitter value at the top and at the bottom you get the graph with the blue line for the jitter value Remember less the jitter value more the scrolling swiping and application response time for the different activities For this ROM jitter value mostly remain below 0.5 milliseconds but it rises above 1 millisecond suddenly during the test If you check the superior and rising was both has stable jitter value and it remain below 0.5 milliseconds which is considered as a very good value I tried to use the different applications during the test and that time also high fluctuations were found for the jitter values. So as compared to the both the non-retrofit ROMs, this ROM has some jitter in all our ROM uses. Next we did the Geekbench test. Let's check out the comparison of this ROM with the non-retrofit ROMs like the Super Air OS and the Rising OS. Initial impression of this ROM is very good. All the activities are running smoothly. They felt but very smooth. but sometimes there may be some jitter will be found during scrolling if we check the screen refresh rate using the fps overlay setting available under the oneplus extras it will fluctuate between 2 to 60 hertz this is adaptive refresh mode means when device not in use fps goes to the lowest value and when you touch the screen it rises to the highest value after running the geekbench test i got the score of 556 and 1816 for the single and multi core respectively If you check the both the superior OS and Rising OS both has multi core results more than 1900. Slight difference were found here but results ranging between 1900 to 2000 considered as a base value for this device. Next I did the OpenSeal graphics API test here I got the score of 2019 while for the Ulkan graphics API we got the score of 1930 which is similar as compared to the both the non retrofit ROMs. Only CPU multi-core performance seems different for these ROMs. 
but in real life visibility you can't differentiate between all of these roms they all felt smooth and fluid for all the activities so it's not necessary higher the gig bench values higher will be the performance vice versa now it's time to show you the new changes first is the developer has dropped the audio effects equalizer from the rom and added new moto dolby with the full audio processing actually this dolby atmos mod only in build for the cyber was previously but now developer veritas has done the job Official Evolution X didn't have this sound mod. This application has different presets for the earphones, but for loudspeaker it has only one smart audio preset. So to use the different preset, we need to connect the Bluetooth or the wired earphones. When you connect the device, it shows the notification in notification panel for tuning audio using Moto Dolby. When you open the application, now it shows the device connected detail at the top. who gets the presets like the smart audio music movie game and custom by tapping on the edit icon available nearby the presets we can tune the audio using the graphic equalizer or we can use already available equalizer presets like the vocal boost bass boost brilliant treble etc we can also enable the volume leveler and virtualizer sound effect Overall this sound mod has fully working audio processing which is giving amazing audio output through the speakers and earphones which has unbelievable sound improvement for your device. Next big addition is the new Oxonus camera. If you check the Oxonus camera version it's 3.8.114 and this version is ported from the Oxonus 10. I checked all the things in the camera like the video recording at the 4K 60 fps it is working. Photo with the HDR mode, portrait mode for the both the front selfie and the main camera are working fine. Nightscape mode is also working. Both the time lapse and the slow motion are working, but sometimes slow motion force close in the camera application. But after reopening the application, it works again. Pro mode is also working fully with the all the picture tuning option. Panorama mode is also working fine. I found slight changes in the camera quality pictures and the videos both are now more fine tuned. Similarly like the camera developer now added the new gallery version 3.7.28. I didn't found any difference in the gallery application. It felt same like old version here. Next developer has added the Google file manager as a system application within ROM. So the application will works perfectly. We don't need to download it from the Play Store. If you don't know what is retrofit partition scheme and what are the benefits its answer is developer were able to add such additional features in the rom because of the new partition scheme because adding more features increases the size of rom zip file and it can be only flashable via retrofit partition scheme because retrofit dynamic partition increases the system partition size that's the original benefit of retrofit system hope you got your answer If you ask about any extra benefits then answer is no even i found the non retrofit custom rom has better jitter values and the geekbench results but that differs from the rom to rom we will test the official evolution x next time and will confirm is this is correct or not so it's a matter of choice to use retrofit roms or non retrofit but don't shift back between retrofits to the non retrofit roms frequently which may cause issue of crash dump as i gone through Final conclusion is that this retrofit unofficial build has added with very good features like Moto Dolby, new Oxonus camera and gallery which will never found in other ROMs. It has stellar performance and stability for day to day users. So I definitely recommend you to try and stay on this unofficial evolution of build which has regular support of Veritas. That's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.